This is how to use screen time in iOS 12 to control what you or your kids do on their iPhone or iPad. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. The first thing you need to do is go into settings and tap on screen time. There is no screen time app. It's all controlled within here. And so there's four main parts. First off, we can see the activity, but the real control comes down to downtime, which lets you control access to apps before bed app time limits to set app limits specifically for an individual app or a category of apps, the ability to set apps that are always allowed like phone messages or an educational app, and then finally content and privacy restrictions where you can lock down different iTunes app store, privacy, and other settings. So to get started, you're gonna have to turn this on if it's not already on. And while you're on this main screen, if you're setting this up for a kid, this is a good time to set up, use a screen time passcode and set a passcode that they're not gonna know, otherwise they can bypass all of this. The next thing to do, if they have, or if you have an iPhone and an iPad that are signed into iCloud and you want this to sync across devices so that the app time limit you set for the iPhone also is the same on the iPad, go ahead and tap share across devices. This screen will pop up for a second and then it should come back and allow you to have that go back and forth between all of your devices. To see different activities, go ahead and tap on this area here, and it's gonna show me the breakdown across a variety of app types for today, or I can go to last seven days, and I can see that, and I can see, oh my gosh, I'm spending a lot of time playing games, and apparently I'm playing Toon Blast a lot. Thanks, Ryan Reynolds. So in this screen, I can see either today or I can see the last seven days and I can switch between devices if I want to. I already have one time limit set up and it looks like I've been spending a lot of time in TweetBot. So I wanna limit my access to Twitter. So I'm gonna add a limit to that and I'm gonna set the time limit for two hours and I can go ahead and hit add. But if I wanna change this limit so that say on the weekend, either I have more access or my kids have more access, I can hit customize days and I can change this time limit for each specific day, which is really handy. Now, when your kid hits that time limit, they'll see a screen like this. And so I can hit ignore limit and because I don't have a passcode, I can go straight into that app. But if you have a passcode set, then they're going to bump into that and you're gonna to have to either give them more time or they know that time's up. And that's one of the benefits about this type of setup is you're not always policing their app usage and being the bad guy saying, your time's up, your time's up. You can use this for any app on the phone. It's great for games like Fortnite or things like that that you need to limit. And so I can see right here all the limits that I've set up. I can also show categories and change based just on categories. And you'll get a weekly report of this. And what's nice is it also shows you web pages so if you want to know how much time they're spending on web pages or limit web page access. So if you're trying to limit social media access, you want to limit the Facebook app and you want to limit facebook.com. Otherwise they can get around it. Back on the main screen here, if you're looking for parental controls, you can go into these app limits and here you can add limits based on categories. But if you want to add those limits based on a specific app, you'll do that how we just showed you before this. Now, another great area for parental controls is under content and privacy restrictions. Tap this toggle to turn it on. And from here, you have a wide variety of options. A lot of these have already been on the iPhone and iPad, but they've been harder to find. Tap on iTunes and App Store purchases. Right here, go down to in-app purchases and choose if you want your kid to be able to make in-app purchases or not, or if you want yourself to be able to make them or not, because frankly, some of us have poor self-control. So you can do that there and then you can choose passwords and stuff like that if it should always be required you can choose a loud app you can set content restrictions this is where you would change like based on ratings for movies tv shows you can choose what type of books to get you can allow apps based on ratings and a lot of other things you can even filter the web based on what apple decides is adult versus unrestricted or you can set it up to only allow them to go to very specific websites that you approve. You can also change some options for web search. And finally, down in Game Center, you can control access to multiplayer games that use Game Center, adding friends, and screen recording. Under privacy, there's a lot of options. Like, say, you might want to turn off the ability for this device to share its location. Um, you can also go down to allow changes. Now, 
if your kid is frequently changing your cellular data, going past volume limits, or even changing settings like your TV provider, this is a really great section to go to and to pay attention to because you can limit if they're gonna be able to make that kind of change, which could mess with your account and annoy you. Now, there's a couple other sections on here. Downtime, this is one where you could help your kid get ready for bed or help yourself get ready for bed by limiting the amount of apps and the amount of time you're gonna spend on your phone. So if you turn it on, you can set a start and an end time. And then if you go over back to this and choose always allowed, you can go ahead and choose which apps are allowed. And for instance, I'm gonna add Audible because I listen to that at night to go to sleep and I don't really need maps. I could remove that, but just in case, I'm gonna leave that in there. So you can choose which apps that you can use or which apps your kids can use at night. It's really handy. That's a look at how to use screen time. You'll have to set it up on your device and on your kids' devices, but if you have family sharing turned on in iOS, you'll see your family show up in here if they have a child account. So you can do some management from there and check in on them. You'll also get an emailed weekly report with where they're spending their time, where you're spending your time. You can check out more at gottobemobile.com and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have other questions about iOS 12, leave a comment down below and let us know what you wanna learn how to do on your iPhone or iPad.